airlines, what is the problem? Get rid of them. Just say, you know, do you really need a nut that much that you can't survive your plane journey? Someone else mightn't survive that plane journey if there are yeah. not served. Uh, joining us in the studio, Daniel and Judith Levitin. Uh, they were turned away from a flight after making staff aware of Daniel's severe nut allergy. And this was how many years ago, Judith? Um, it was January 2015. And this was in Florida? It was, yes. And this was American Airlines? It was, correct. Now, American Airlines, how did they respond when you pointed out, because you'd made the outward correct. flight all well, everything OK, coming back, what was the problem? That's what we couldn't actually understand because my husband had actually called American Airlines three weeks before we flew and they had allowed us to fly out there. Coming home, we got to, it was actually an internal flight we were taking from Dallas-Fort Worth in Florida. Um, and I, I approached the gate agent, as I was told to do, and just make her aware that we were EpiPen carriers and that Daniel has a nut allergy. And she was... She was absolutely horrified and was like, well, he can't, he, he can't fly. You know, we can't allow him on board. And I said, but, but you allowed him to fly out here and your staff made an announcement and said, you know, you won't be serving nuts. Um, so I, I couldn't really understand what the problem was. And um, as we were waiting to board, the pilot, who was due to fly that plane, actually came off and he said, well, what's going on? And she said, I want their bags taken off. I don't want them to to be allowed to fly. Um, this child is a danger to other passengers. Um, he's a danger to other passengers. He's a danger to other yeah. passengers because if he goes into anaphylactic shock mid-flight and they have to do an emergency landing, it puts everybody else at risk. Um, she wanted a doctor's certificate, um, which we did actually have faxed out to her. You and did? Yes, we did. Um, and um, But by the time I had this fax through, which was literally within 10, 15 minutes, she'd arranged to have our bags offloaded and she said she had cancelled our tickets and reissued them to three people who were on standby. Uh, so, Daniel, I mean, you're, you're 14 now, you were 11 yeah. at the time, so how were you feeling when all this was going on, all this kind of drama going on around you and Mum trying to get you on yeah. board and her saying, no, you can't, well, and you're standing there through all this? I felt very unsafe to fly because it was like they didn't want me to fly because I was a danger to other passengers. And I also felt it was my fault because we were standing there and I was thinking, we can't get home because of my condition. Yeah. How do you that feel took about... It you two days before you were able yeah. to get home as well. Generally, and... how do you feel about that condition in, in your everyday life? Are you always aware of it? Do you, because you're just saying, you know, I felt it was yeah. all my fault and I'm just being annoying and everyone's annoyed with me. Yeah, how, no. do, how do you cope with it? It doesn't really bother me. Like, well, at the time, I was allergic to all nuts. Mm. But recently I've had a few tests done and I'm not allergic to any nuts apart from mm. peanuts. So just peanuts. So just see, peanuts on that flight in Florida, American Airlines did not make a general announcement in the cabin. And then behind you, some Egypt opened a bag of nuts. Correct, now, what, yes. what effect did that have on you, just hearing and knowing and hearing them crunching away behind you? You got very I panicky. I got very panicky and I, I... I think I had a meltdown, didn't I? You did have a meltdown. I had a meltdown on the flight. Yeah. Not surprised. Uh, to be fair, very... she was very nice. You know, we said we explained yeah, she, to her. But she, it wasn't announced to her. So no, she, she and, and that's her. that was the whole um, point. She... American Airlines say they're they're simply following uh, federal law. And uh, they say, since the family had stated that the aircraft may have to divert, we requested a certificate from a medical professional, OK? And, but basically, the background to this is very important, and this would probably be in line with lots of other airlines. American Airlines saying, ultimately, we can't guarantee that customers won't be exposed to peanuts or other uh, tree nuts during a flight. Um, allowing a passenger with a nut allergy to board creates a false sense of security and doesn't eliminate the risk. We strongly encourage customers with a peanut allergy to take all necessary precautions and speak to a medical profession before they travel. So um, I understand part of what they're saying, which is, you know, whether they make an announcement or not, it doesn't guarantee that someone hasn't got nut traces well, on no, their hand no, and correct, yeah, shake correct, hands yeah. with you and whatever. But at the same time, they're doing what all these airlines are doing and they're backing off from it. The Civil Aviation Authority doesn't want anything to do with it and whatever. But surely we've got to start somewhere. We've got to start and say, look, we, this may not be 100% guaranteed, but we should make an intent on this. Yeah, it's absolutely all about risk reducing. And, yeah. um, you know, 
it, that's that's really all I can say. I mean, at the time, um, you know, the airlines that I made demands that they shouldn't serve nuts and I had, should stop people from eating nuts. And I, I never made any such demands. I just simply said, could you yeah. make an announcement? Yeah. And just to make the staff aware that he is an EpiPen carrier. Well, it will be interesting to see where this goes.